Hi guys, it's Monica. In this video, I am going to share with you what I have on my head. And I know that not every one of you that watch my videos are going to be into my wig talk, so to speak. But this is going to be a wig chat. I really think that as we get older, I'm 66, I know you all know that. But as we get older, everything changes. And some of us have been blessed with this beautiful, full, thick head of hair. And some of us have not been so blessed. I'm on that side of it. So if you have struggled with hair loss, thinning hair, whether it's from medical conditions or genetic, I think exploring wigs, hair pieces, alternate hair can go a long way to making you feel good about yourself. Just like when we use some foundation, when we do good skin care, when we put sunblock on, it all goes hand in hand. So this video, I'm going to share this wig and I hope you stay tuned. Thanks so much for joining me guys. I am going to keep this brief. I received this wig for a review from Wig Studio One. I've done a number of reviews for Wig Studio One. I totally appreciate their confidence in me sending me wigs so that I can share it with you. And I know not every single one of you is going to be into wigs or if you are, you're not going to be into short wigs. But this wig, this is Ellen Villa's Elements collection. This is new for 2020 and this wig is actually called Wing. Yeah, Wing. When I first saw the name Wing, I'm going, what a strange name for a wig, right? Because I mean, you have all these names for wigs and this one is called Wing. Well, once I got it, I realized exactly why. Because this is a heavily, heavily textured short do and a lot of the natural fibers can flip up into a wing throughout the wig just by you manipulating it with your fingers or maybe using some peace out cream or whatever styling product you want. This is totally unaltered. I've not sprayed this. I have not used any kind of peace out cream at all. This is a true shake and go style. When I looked at the website, I'll tell you, I looked at the website and I, I said, oh my gosh, I didn't like it. I didn't like the picture of the wig on the website. It was styled straight, more straight down, combed straight down, which is not my cup of tea at all. I am not a full bang person. I don't mind bangs. I like to have fringe layering my face, but a full straight look on bangs, I didn't like. So I was like, oh gosh, you know, and of course the model is beautiful. She's thin. Here I am 66. I'm not thin. But, um, but anyway, so I was really super excited to try it. This is an extremely affordable piece. Literally, like I said, I shook it. When it came, I'm gonna superimpose some photos here. The part, if you wanna call it that, was crisscrossed. I was really excited about that because I expected it to be combed straight down like it looked on the website. So when I saw that it was crisscrossed, I said, I'm gonna keep it that way. So what I did is I fluffed it up with my fingers. I hung it upside down, I shook it really good, hung it upside down on a pant clip, you know, the uh, hangers for the pants, shook it, let it hang there, then I plopped it on my head. And I'll tell you, I'm going to show you the back because I really think this is so super, super cute, especially for summer. So you can see the flips, I think. But a little bit of an extended nape here, which looks really good. The wig also has a mono crown. I'm hoping this picks it up. Right here is the mono crown. That is just a tiny little bit of monofilament there at the crown, which will give you that illusion of your hair, the way your hair would flow. I think it looks absolutely adorable. I really like it like that. The wig does not have a monofilament. It does not have any, any kind of a lace front at all. Um, of course, monofilament and lace fronts I think are beautiful. I love them on my wigs, but because of the style of this, I don't think you need a lace front unless, you know, this. if this was longer and I wanted to comb it up off my head, I'd have a problem because you really can't without a lace front. You can see the edging of your hair, but it's short, it's fluffy, and there is some permatease. Not a whole lot of permatease, really not a whole lot of permatease. Enough to keep the shape. I just think it's super, super pretty. This is in the color Sand Mix, which is a blend of some light browns. I'm going to come a little closer. 
some light brown, some golden honey blonde, just a nice little blend of color. And you can see without a monofilament that if I were to really part this, you would be able to see the wefting. So you really want to keep this puffed up. I think you want to keep it puffed up. I'm going to insert some photos. I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert a little clip I took a couple of days ago outside. It wasn't super windy, so you really don't see a whole lot of hair movement. But I'm just walking in my yard. It's a sunny afternoon and... I think it'll just give you a little bit of an idea of what the color looks like outside because sometimes I think when you're wig buying, the colors are the hottest thing to figure out. It really is because it can look completely different when you lit up than when you're outside. Or this in. is such a cute, cute piece. Another spin for you. You saw it outside. I'm going to show you the cap. As you can see here, it's really, really comfortable. A stretch. It does have felt ear tabs here. And speaking of the ear tabs, because of my head, I have this on the largest adjustment. I think Ellen Villa runs medium to petite, and I have more of a medium to a large head. So these ear tabs did not cover fully down on the bio part of my hair showing on my ears. However, it came down enough. It was really comfortable for me to wear my glasses. And again, where it's such a short wig, you don't really have to worry about that showing like as if you were going to comb your hair up off your head. If I was going to try to style it like that, it would show. But there is that adorable little mono crown. You can see the wefting. Again, very stretchy, extremely comfortable. These fibers are so nice. I'm going to put it back on my head just so you can see literally shake and dough. Grab my ear tabs, place my ear tabs, pull this around, lift it up. So, you know, here it was. It was like off and I haven't done anything. I just put it right back on my head. Pretty look. All the information will be below, including the dimensions. And for those of you that are not into the wigs, I want to thank you for watching and thumbs up the video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do talk a little bit about everything and um, wigs as well. So thank you all so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.